I made sort of a boo-boo in the last part because when I loaded the game's last save state to um, uh, to get the game going here, what I did was I ended up with something that looked like this because I forgot the save state between parts. So I lost all the progress of the last part, but don't worry, don't worry, I've got something else set up here. I got the spot and spots all back to where I was before and yeah, there we go. Of course the numbers won't be the same as they were before, but eh, well. Anyway, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough Lotus Volcano. Two exits. Let's start. I really like this song, at least at the start. Uh, and then it gets, like it, it changed into a whole other, oops, tropical song of sorts, and yeah. <laughs> so these lava lotuses, they spew this fiery pollen and it hurts, so don't touch them, and yeah, and also the lava lotuses themselves hurt when you try to jump on them. They're all, they're hot all over the place, but they are this place's native plant species, I suppose. So, gotta just deal with the wildlife as you pass through the area, and I don't like this jump right here, it's it's blind. Yeah, <laughs> and you could land right in the lava. So that could potentially be pretty cheapo. And oh, uh, I should probably rush this part. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Rushing works in certain circumstances. Whoa, that was close. Um, secret exit is over there, and uh, yeah. But how do you get that? Well, well, you'll oh shoot, you'll see, you'll see. Oh yes, you will see. Or will you see? Maybe you won't see. Maybe you're gonna turn off this video before you see, before I reach the end of the level. Who knows? Who knows? But here's a good opportunity to get a 1-up. <laughs> Not that difficult to do those jumps either, just uh, basic enemy jumps. Eh! Oh shoot! I wanted to grab the block and then back away from it, but eh, well, <laughs> it didn't quite work as planned. Uh, what's here? Just lava? Just death? Just heat? Just warmth? I don't know, I'm just kind of spewing stuff. <laughs> ooh, ooh, nee. Oh, by the way, careful with your run button here. Do not just like press it haphazardly. Otherwise, you could grab a blue block and end up in the drink of. Hot lava, and yeah, oh, I hate these springy things. <clears throat> what? See, the thing is that you're, if you're moving forward on them, you can sometimes oh, not jump off of them like that, like what almost happened there, and that would have been very bad. <laughs> because you, you kind of fall off the edge into whatever is down below, and in this case, it's lava. <laughs> so... You gotta be really careful not to push any directions as you're jumping off a springy thing. Yeah, end of the level. Oh yeah, notice that I missed the dragon coin. Well, that's because it's actually um, on the secret path to said secret exit. So anyway, that unlocks the path over to the, the moving cave and now more Lotus Volcano. Because I think there's a cape in this level that I could use, and I need a cape to get the secret of this level, so I gotta be careful to keep this power up that I have right now, because otherwise I won't get a cape from the block that I think I'll get a cape from. There it is. <laughs> Alright, going down carefully, very carefully, but yet. Yeah swiftly at the same time to avoid a pollen swarm. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Now see that coin up there? See that coin up there? It's indicating something. Yep, there's the last dragon coin. And I went up there. Whee! So now you go up here. Yeah, I know I hit this, the ground there hard because I'm flying. Um, so let's see what's over to the right. Could it be potentially a spot 
to get to the secret exit? Why, yes it is! <laughs> but I'm gonna see what's over here way, way off to the far right. I'm not sure if there's anything special over here. I just want to see if there is something here. It might just be a preview to the level, I guess you could say. <laughs> and this could just be a big waste of time, but something tells me there's something over here because it's pretty long. Uh, and... No, that's it. <laughs> well, that was a big waste of time. Now we've got a long road back. But at least we've got the music to keep us occupied along the way and make the trip seem a lot shorter than it actually is. But nah, it's still a long trip back because it's always a long trip there. <laughs> come on, come on, go, go, there we go. And yeah, the key and the lock, well, key and the keyhole are both right here. Voila! And now, since this place is, I think, based off of Vanilla Dome, um, this this is like a split path to different areas of the next world, the Twin Bridges. So what I'm going to do here is do the side path up into the pipe until I get to the next world, and then I'm going to return um, up this path to do the moving cave, the castle, you know, down, down that path that way. Okay? Okay, so it's ghost cave time. Ooh, spooky. So, so spooky. Well, not that spooky. Because ghosts, for the most part, pretty cute. I mean, just look at that guy with his tongue sticking out. It's just adorable. <laughs> e e slope, slope, slope. Don't like steep slopes like that. Because it's kind of hard to control off them. Ooh, another cape. I will take that. By the way, you can't, like, cape ghosts or anything like that, so... Don't bother. By the way, this this level's got a really, really tricky jump in it that I, I don't remember which pipe I'm supposed to go into, so that's going to be fun. But you have to do a jump off of a thing to get up to a pipe. And, uh, oh wait, I'm supposed to take the lower path. Yeah, I am. Uh, but yeah, you're supposed to jump off of a thing to get up to another thing, and it's really difficult to do because it's a really awkward jump. <laughs> Like, just in general, and you have to use these jumps, I mean, you have to use this jump to get to where you need to go, and you don't know which pipe you need to go into, so it's most certainly one of the trickiest jumps you'll have encountered thus far. Anyway, midpoint's there, so we got ourselves a checkpoint, just in case things go badly. Wait, is there anything in these, in these pipes? I'm not, I don't, I don't really trust my Xbox D-pad that press up when I want it to press up anymore. I mean, he was already messing with me on my perspective on, on how fences controlled. So, <laughs> who knows um, if I'm actually going to be hitting the pipe that I, I'll be trying to hit, you know, trying to get into a pipe when I'm, you know, it, it might be failing me and I'm not knowing it. Because, like, when you're on the ground, you, you can tell when you're pressing up. When you jump, you can't tell if you're pressing up or not. <laughs> And I'm going to have to be spin jumping off of, yeah, these bubbles. I always thought these bubbles were uh, really out of place in the original Super Mario World. I mean, yeah, I get the idea of them um, hiding the foreground, you know, away from you. Uh, how do I want these switches to be? I forgot. E e uh, okay, they should be just like this, I guess. Because I can pass through here, yeah. But yeah, th these bubbles are... I don't know, they, they just seem like really, really out of place in comparison to everything else in Super Mario World. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> but I guess their purpose is, I mean, they do hurt you and all like that, but their purpose seems to be more to hide stuff because you can just spin jump off of them and they aren't really all that threatening. Okay, here's the spot. <clears throat> is this the pipe that I need to go into? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't remember which pipe, but but I'll show you why I need to go inside a pipe. There is something right here. See this wall that blocks your progress forward? And I don't remember which of these pipes I need to go up, but I need to go up one of them to get up to that spot that you've seen uh, the switch blocks were at. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's a higher pipe, so it might be either on this side of the blocks or on the other side. But <clears throat> so I'm not. I'm not really sure which which pipe it is, and that's that's a pretty big problem. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm supposed to go up this one here? Mm, mm. Can't tell if I'm pressing up on the Xbox D-pad. I mean, it feels like I'm pressing up, 
but the question is, is it registering as me pressing up? <laughs> that That's the big question here. Oh shoot. I see... Yellow pipe. Oh, didn't press the jump button properly. Well, this bubble's pretty well placed. Maybe it's on this side. I don't know. Well, this bubble's also well placed for this side. I'm gonna run out of time before this works, yeah, aren't I? <laughs> Which pipe was it? Which was it? <laughs> but I remember it's a pipe, that's all I know. Oh shoot, and I lost a cape. That's bad. Very bad, especially since I'm since I'm gonna lose everything after this. Uh, although I could uh, leave a level and I mean leave the level and get power ups back at the mole ruins. That's always a friendly place to uh, get capes from. I just want to find out what pipe it is at least before I run out of time. <clears throat> Can't tell if I'm pressing up. <laughs> Maybe it's on this side. I don't know. But what I do know is that I'm out of time. <laughs> to the mole ruins. Time up! Oh, excuse me, the name is Monty Monument, so not the Mole Ruins. <laughs> anyway, I am fully powered up here with capes. I'm only getting capes here because the game lets me. I could either do that or go to the top secret area, but I think that's a little bit fast. Well, I don't know, maybe it's not that much faster overall, but I don't know. <laughs> anyway, my uh, midpoint will save on said ghost cave, just as long as I don't hit a midpoint in another level. So yeah, you can do that sort of thing. It's within the game's boundaries, so go right ahead. <laughs> I'll probably repower up like that just to make my uh, trip back to Bubble Town a lot safer, as well as uh, um, the pipe jump of death. <laughs> I just don't remember which pipe it was, and that's a big problem in this case because, yeah, I remember I, these two had to be um, active to be, yeah. To uh, open this place, and you go up here, and you go hit this thing, and then you can go across, and yeah. As you can tell, it's not that difficult to get through here, it's just that I really want to keep for this bubble jump section for the most part here, because as I said, I don't remember which pipe it is. So I'm gonna kind of use, yeah, use the capes to my advantage to save me from certain doom down there. <clears throat> Not that one, maybe? Kind of hard to tell, because I don't know the D-pad. <laughs> maybe it's not on that side, after all. Maybe it's on this side. Yeah, got a water bubble. Let's see if I can spawn, there we go. I don't know! <laughs> Give me bubble. Bubble, bubble. Toil and trouble. Where's the other one? Not this one, this one's gonna... Urgh, let's pipe. I feel I'm pressing up, but I can't tell if I'm actually pressing up. Maybe it's not one of these pipes, and I, and I thought it was a harder jump than it actually was. Oh, I almost lost my power up there. Bubbles don't like to be touched on the sides. Even when you're spin jumping. Ah, dang it, dang it. Just gonna try these pipes because they're here and they're easier. <laughs> Probably not the solution though, because I, I I'm pretty sure I remember the pipe being up, like one of those higher ones above the pits of doom, the pit of 100 trials or just one trial. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I thought it's that green pipe over there. Hmm. I just think it's one of the one of these on this side. Maybe maybe I'm too far ahead. Like maybe it's one of the green ones. No, I'm pressing up, pressing up. Okay. <laughs> down, down, up, up. No. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and as you can tell, you can't like get enough speed to get the the jump height you need to get up there without using a bubble. So th these jumps have quite a bit of pressure to them. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I hit the wrong spot. I hit the... There's a solid part of the ceiling between pipes here. And yeah... I don't know if I'm pressing up! I mean, it feels like I am, but the thing is that I, 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 I'm trying pipes multiple times because I'm not sure if I'm hitting 
the right thing, <laughs> you know, on the D-pad. There's a sweet spot to hitting up on this thing, apparently. Maybe it's, maybe it's one of these. That an, oh, shoot! I held upright because of the D-pad. Monty Monuments. Actually, let's see that top secret area. I think it's a little bit, a little bit more swift. Yeah, because the travel distance isn't as far on the map to get to here than it is at the Monty Monument. First, grab one of these. And... Oh, and I just use green blocks to get capes immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about them. Yeah, I'm gonna just use the top secret area whenever I need stuff and oh can't start select because this technically isn't a level I've completed. Alright. Why? Why must I have forgotten the pipe that I need to go in? I could cheat it by checking lunar magic or something like that, but nah <laughs> That doesn't feel like a legit run then. So it's kind of like using a guy when I know the, the thing that I need to do. It's just a matter of finding what I need to do. I mean, I suppose technically use, using lunar magic would be doing that, but I mean, you know, manually. <laughs> I don't know, I'm stubborn. <laughs> just gonna get this sucker done by myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> e. E. Mm -mm. I wonder if I should just like cut forward from here on out because as you can tell I'm not gonna have any issue getting up to um, said blocks so yeah uh, I mean said block barricade on my own okay what pipe was it is it yellow is it blue how about you I'm going crazy <laughs> I need but I need another bubble are you a bubble that I can use? Eh, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Eh. Spawn bubble. Spawn bubble. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't spin jump. What am I doing? Eh. Oh shoot. Da. <coughs> so where were we? <laughs> <laughs> All right, bubbles, bubbles. That's where we were. <laughs> Checking pipes. I wonder if this, because this bubble spawns at a really good spot. I wonder if that is like the indicator that there's something in those pipes instead. Because it's you know this is the high spot. Oh 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 oh! No 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 no! And I know I have to hit the pipe. It's sort of like the center, too, so that's another thing that's sort of infuriating. <laughs> yeah, pipes. Which one of you is it? Would you please tell me? I would very much appreciate it. Nope. That's probably not it, because that really felt like I was pressing up that time. So I'm going to eliminate that one from my trial and error ring here and focus on that light blue pipe there at the very top. You might not be able to see it after I crop the screen and whatnot, but uh, yeah, there's a pipe there, believe me. <laughs> nope. Mm -mm. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it's those two, I don't know. I don't know. Mm. 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 <laughs> Which one was it? I know I said that a lot here, but my statement stands. Eh. Mm. Mm. Bubbles. Bubbles. Why? Why must you torment me so? If only there was regular blocks here. Wouldn't have to worry so much. <laughs> eh. I don't know. Mm. Mm. Oh shoot, I didn't jump properly. Now I lost my cape, so that's gonna make it extra hard to check pipes. <laughs> oh, and I'm done. Uh oh. Um, I hit the switch as I was coming across here. Can I get back? Okay, I can. <laughs> I got a little worried there. <laughs> oh shoot! 
Can I get that? Can I get that safely? Yes! Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll resume commentating here since I had to show that bungle four kicks. <laughs> Alright, I think what I'm going to do here is try the other pipes just like to be sure that it's not one of the other pipes. I'm not just thinking of some other level. Uh, starting with these like here. <laughs> Uh oh, was it that one really? Was it really that one? Maybe I was thinking of some other level because that jump did seem pretty, pretty evil. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure uh, when you're in huge pipe section like this, it's always like the one, yeah, at the end that you have to go down. <clears throat> oh, jeez, it was that one. Ah, ah. <laughs> All that trouble I had and it was for naught because I didn't even have to try those pipes I didn't even need a cape for that I... <laughs> uh... Uh... <laughs> I took so much time there it's I'm feeling so burned out <laughs> Duh. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> well, now all I have to do is be careful to make it through the rest of this. Mm. Nice to having, I mean, nice having these blocks here, otherwise I'm gonna have to deal with, I mean, I was had to deal with these slopes. Oh, nope, no need to panic with those being there. Isn't it, is that a mole? No, it's just detailing. It looked like a mole was gonna come out of this dirt patch. <laughs> oh! Alright, I'm a little burned out, so I don't know how much footage I have, but since I'm burned out, I'm gonna end it off here. Because commentary could suffer as a result of being burned out. So yeah, this is the uh, end of the split path anyway, you can see you end up here at the uh, sort of kind of twin bridges here, so yeah. With that, I'm gonna end off the part here. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 yes, yes, safe! <laughs>